what's up guys welcome back to 25 feet high today we're doing something we haven't i haven't done in a long time but it's something i love and i'm with my buddy pj let's go catch some Wait, fish yeah there we go uh he's out he's mo most of the time been spending time out uh serving our country with the navy uh but he's back home for a little while we're gonna go set some lines i'm gonna show you my uh, little setup real quick i made a video about this a long time ago on a different channel and all that stuff but this is kind of the setup. Tell, explain it to us real quick. So basically all we did here, got a flag on our bucket with the holes, lets us know which way we need to pull the lines up so nothing gets tangled up. Got our hook, a leader coming down to the swivel so when they roll, it doesn't break the line. Weight right here, everything just slides right back into the bucket. Keeps pretty, everything untangled, pretty nice. Oh yeah. So I, uh, I had a setup like this, but my last setup was kind of barely thrown together. Another thing is it has a lid which so it means like it, you can't really tell it right now but usually when we're in the back way back deep in the swamps and everything this boat just gets full of sticks and limbs and stuff so the lid it keeps that out of there which also helps uh like when you get sticks in there it just tangles up real bad so that system it really mitigates the tangles and everything so it's pretty sweet um I don't really know what else to say except let's go fishing. Y'all stay tuned. Hopefully we'll catch something. Well, guys, as per usual for me, we're getting out a little bit later than we wanted to, but getting out a lot earlier than we usually do. So hopefully we can get at least a couple lines set before we really need lights. Um, what you think? How you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Let's see if we can get us some. <laughs> we got some. We're just going to be using live shiners as bait. Uh, we'll show you how we like to set our lines. We, we've pretty much dialed in the system. We just haven't dialed in the catching part. Like, we're really good at, like, tying lines and getting everything set up and everything. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, like, yeah. I think we're not too bad. We've done it plenty of times. We've done it a ton. We just haven't dialed in the whole catfish catching part. So, well, yeah. So, we're hoping we've, we can actually catch something. But we do have a good system, and we'll show you that system when we get back deep in the swamps. Yeah. Are you recording? Yeah. All right, guys. Can you see it decent? Uh, yeah, not too bad. <laughs> All right. So we got our line here. Look at there. Come out with no tangles. Um, we found a section of this slough that has a little bit less uh, current than most everywhere else. So we're just gonna drop it down. Um, I'm gonna set pretty much all of them at different depths. This one's gonna be pretty shallow. But um, the knot we usually use is basically a slip knot. I got, I took a loop and wrapped it around the tree and then I'm gonna come back through that loop, pull it tight, and then just keep doing that. I'll do a more in depth video of this at some point. But uh, that slip knot is really nice cause nothing can like pull the, line out of the hook I guess is what I'm trying to say or nothing can pull a line off the tree when you come back you can just snatch it real hard and your line comes off so you need shiner uh, <coughs> alright we so like I said, this one's only, this this line's only a couple inches deep really, only a few inches deep. A lot of people think catfish like to stay on the bottom, but at night it's pretty often they'll come up to the surface to feed, especially if they see a flopping bait fish. So that's all for that one. Move on to the next one. We're probably only gonna film a couple line sets. We got 19 to set now, so just take up a lot of your time is kind of boring, so we're just gonna film maybe one or two more and then show y'all when we catch something, hopefully. All right, guys, so we got 19 lines, I think, set. Um, I kind of wanted to explain real quick just kind of what we were doing. So the river's up super high right now, so what I look for 
we usually go back in the sloughs anyway, but it's when the river's this high, we'll get deep back in the sloughs where there's just enough current that there is current, but it's not like a flooded river current. And we were kind of looking for current breaks, like trees we were setting like on the down current side of trees. We were setting some we set just right in the middle. Um, we were setting them shallow and deep. Uh, just trying to cover all the bases, but mostly just looking for current breaks deep in the sloughs. And we also got like off the sloughs a little bit, back in the woods, because when it's flooded, they get in places they can't normally get to. So. About it? I think you covered it all. <laughs> so we'll, we'll pick the camera back up uh, when we catch something. Hopefully we'll have 19 fish on it when, on the uh, lines. 19 fish on each line would be pretty good too. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong about that. <laughs> Maybe we'll catch at least something because we're not we're not the best. But hopefully we'll have something on the lines and we'll catch you when we do. So what you doing, Zach? I'm trying to catch some crawfish. I got one in my hand. I'm trying to catch more. Here's one. Oh, nasty. Got two. Look at that snake. Oh god. <laughs> I'm stepped on that thing. It's a water snake, I think. Well, we got one. Look at there. I don't know how well y'all can see it. Big old long nosed gar. Try to get him off of there real quick. We got something at least. Hard right. All right, guys, it is the next morning, as you can probably tell. Um, pretty early, a little chilly. We're gonna go run these lines, see if we hadn't caught anything. We'll let you know if we did. Record. All right, line number three for the day. Yeah, we just got started. Where to go fish? Hopefully it's not a gar or something. Yeah. I got. It. There we go. Yeah, buddy. talking about right there. Heck yeah. Woo. Pretty good little channel. <laughs> Ten more of them. <laughs> Come on now. I didn't think we had anything on this one. We're not going to show you much of him, but it's a big one. Looks like gators got to him or something. Alright, we'll get a gar. Or gar. Huh. Good old boy though. That's a good one. Yep, we got a few more to check. Yeah. Do we keep him or try to salvage some meat or not? Yeah, you probably salvage him. Alright, last line for the day. Little bull <laughs> bullhead. Oh, there we go. That's tender tender goodles right there. <laughs> There we go. Well, this is the catch. More than we thought, less than we hoped for. Yeah. Need pliers. I should probably start carrying them. Fish remember without pliers. Ooh, that thing's got a strong bite. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for today. 
What you think? I think it's pretty good. More successful than we thought it was gonna be. Yeah, we usually, <clears throat> especially with me and him, fish together, we usually don't have great luck, but we do have a good time. And tonight we had decent luck and a good time, so. Pretty good night, all in all. We ended up with four total, one was a gar. And yeah, hopefully we can salvage some meat off of that big one. I think that's gonna do it for today. I'm tired. I'm tired. You're tired? Sleeping in this little old truck ain't good. <laughs> nah, but uh, we're, on, we're on closer route, I guess. I don't know why, it's very difficult for me to like use words to close a video like when I'm tired. Um, so I'm just gonna say, click the links in the description. Got some cool stuff in there and always remember to live life 25 feet high. Y'all stay tuned for the next one.